My beloved child, demonstrate your confidence in me by sitting serenely in my divine presence. Set aside all that awaits your attention and dismiss worries from your mind. This sacred communion fortifies your spirit, preparing you to confront whatever the day may unveil. By waiting with me before commencing your daily tasks, you affirm the reality of my living essence. This act of unwavering faith, pausing before laboring, is esteemed in the ethereal realm, where your display of trust weakens the dominion of darkness. The most efficacious approach to resist malevolence is to draw near me. When action becomes necessary, I shall lead you clearly through the guidance of my spirit and my word. The world's intricacies and excessive stimuli can easily disorient you, causing you to lose your sense of direction. Engaging in countless, needless activities can drain your vitality. However, in your moments with me, I shall restore your sense of purpose. As you seek my guidance, I empower you to achieve more with less effort. Have faith in me here and now. You are undergoing rigorous training, treading upon an adventurous trail uniquely designed for you. This path is not of your own choosing, rather it is my way for you. I am orchestrating events beyond your comprehension. Hence, I implore you, have faith in me. The jungle may be dense, and you may struggle to discern what lies before, behind, or beside you. Yet clasp onto my hand as you traverse this path through the shadowy darkness. Although you cannot see me, rest assured, my presence with you is steadfast reality. Place your hope in me, beloved, for I am faithfully caring for you. Focus on delighting in me and embracing all that I am to you even though your circumstances may demand resolution. Refrain from obsessing over your problems and how to solve them. Instead, affirm your unwavering trust in me. Await with hope in my presence and observe what I shall accomplish. Faith serves as the guiding principle for both our temporal and spiritual lives. We should have faith in God, not only for our earthly needs, but also for our heavenly pursuits. By learning to trust in God's provision for our daily necessities, we can transcend the worries of this world. It is not about being idle, which would imply a lack of trust in God, who is constantly at work. But rather, we should avoid being hasty or reckless, relying on chance rather than the wise and orderly ways of the living God. I encourage you to live a life of trust in God even in secular matters. By doing so, you will not resort to sinful means to attain wealth. And if you encounter failures, at least your conscience will remain clear. Trusting in God enables you to live a consistent and steadfast life. While those who rely on their own cunning may shift their course with every changing wind, those who trust in the Lord are like a sturdy boat cutting through the waves, staying on a steady and straightforward course to their desired destination. Act with courage based on your principles, refusing to conform to the ever-changing trends of worldly wisdom. Walk confidently on the path of integrity, demonstrating that your strength comes from unwavering confidence in God alone. By doing so, you will be free from anxious cares and untroubled by adverse news. Your heart will be firmly anchored in trust in the Lord. Amen. Like the video and type Amen if you trust in the Lord.